With all those turn of events, I got to lock in for this next game. It's kind of a make or break game, to be honest. We up against Jaden Daniels and LSU, and he been cooking this year, too. He's currently sitting at the number one spot for the Heisman race, and I'm at number two. So you can see why this game is so important to me. Everybody on campus been knowing me about this matchup. I guess they're saying that Jaden Daniels already declared himself as the best quarterback in college football. So they've been asking me every day if I heard about it. I told them I ain't really listen to the media, but I was lying. I was online searching up that boy whole stats from this season. Look at all his QB percentages, his strengths, and his weaknesses. And his stats was looking better than mine, so rightfully so, he deserved to be number one sitting at the Heisman race, but that's why this game is so important, so I gotta go out there and put on a show. And I ain't gonna sit here and act like I ain't been seeing the media talk down on me. I've been hearing all this commotion going on about if I don't perform well, my draft stock gonna go down. And I was trying to be the better person in life and not let this media talk get to me, but that didn't work because the old me started coming out and I went live to address the situation. What's good, y'all? Y'all keep asking me about this matchup Saturday night. I hear it, but don't think it's sweet. We about to dog walk LSU and I'll bet anything on it. Bro talking about how he the best quarterback in college football today. Hey man, he ain't nothing but a love fish in the sea. And this Saturday, I'm going to show y'all why I'm the best quarterback in the nation. Not just college football, but in the entire world. Believe that. They woke up a monster. This Saturday, we're going to see who truly is the best quarterback in college football. And they might want to bring the scouts too, because this is about to be a dog fight. So this is the matchup that y'all have been waiting for. I'm going up against Jaden Daniels, and I'm going to throw a nice dot to my boy, T. Johnson. For, and that's how we're going to start the game. I don't know if T. going to have a good game, but we're going to see. And I already told y'all, I'm coming there in this game trying to do whatever I can to come out with the W. So I'm going to try for something deep right away. And it's a flag on the play, and it's going to be a defensive Pass interference. So they just helping us at this point. Now we got some more yards to add on. Now we on the 17. And now I'm scanning the field and look at my boy Chimray right there wide open for the first touchdown of the game. It took us three plays to march down the field and get a touchdown. Like I said, this game, this game is mine. But like I said, Jane Daniels ain't no slouch because they came and scored right away. And I know that y'all see that nice pass I just threw to Chimray. He didn't come down with it, but he should have came down with it. And now I'm going to line him up with one of my favorite plays because my boy always open just like he is right there for the nice grab. And he's going to get some extra yards on there too. And I know y'all been saying Braylon Allen don't touch the ball a lot. So I'm going to try to feed him the ball a lot, see what he can do. So I'm going to hand the ball off to him right here. And he's going to pick up seven yards. And I was telling Chimray before the game, like, hey, we got to go out. We got to go at these boys this game. And that's exactly what we're doing right here. And I'm going to find him for our second touchdown. Hey, it's going to be me and Chimray all game. So they didn't score. So it looks like we can pull away with one more touchdown and get a comfortable lead out here. So I'm going to find my boy Green coming right across the middle. I set him up a little bit. But coming across the middle, he got to catch in the fall. And that's exactly what he did. So I tell my line, like, block for me because I might run the ball. And that's exactly what I do. So I'm going to juke one. If I would have got another block right there, then that juke right there was kind of unnecessary. I should have juked to the right. But we probably would have got the first down. But we got some good yardage off that play. I told y'all I did not come here to mess around. I am dissecting the defense like it's nothing. I am 6 for 7 so far with 139 yards with two touchdowns. And their defense was talking about how I can't throw an accurate pass to save my life. So I'm showing them right here. Look at this nice dot that I threw to T. Johnson for another catch. And we are marching up the field. Possibly can score another touchdown right here. So I'm going to see what my boy B. Allen can do right here off the run. I'm going to give it to him. And he's going to go nowhere on the play. The defense is right there with a stop. So with this play right here, since the run didn't work, we're going to do a pass play. And I'm scanning the field. And look at my boy T. right there. There, wide open. I can't believe I calling him my boy after all we've been through this whole season. But hey, we gotta try to get this championship as a team. 
And when I tell y'all that the defense couldn't do nothing with me out there, look at this nice dot I just threw. I just heaved it up the field. And look at my boy T coming down with a nice catch. Look look at my stats. 9 for 10, 240 yards with three touchdowns. I am balling right now. And the defense must have thought I wasn't going to come out and play hard. As long as my team block for me, as long as the O-line block like they doing right now, just look at this nice open run for the touchdown. 28 to 7. I don't know, man. Y'all might want to throw in a towel. It's looking like it's over. So now we're coming out with another play. They didn't score again, which our defense is coming in. The clutch. I see my boy Will Paul and right there for the nice grab for the stop. And I'm going to hit him. And now with this play, I'm going to run a play action. Look at this. My play actions haven't been working all year until now. And I'm going to hit my boy Shimmery for the nice come across route. Hey, we eating, man. That's all I got to say right now. And we were in LSU, so the crowd was so dry because we were torching them boys. Like this pass right here to my boy T. Johnson again for another touchdown. Like, I don't know what these boys thought we was going to come in. They thought, probably thought we was going to be slouching this game, but we came to play. And I've been having an outstanding game so far. So I'm, at this point, I'm like, let me just throw it up there again and see what I can do. But this time we didn't come down with it. But look at them stats, 12 for 14, 320 yards, four touchdowns. And in this play right here, I'm going to channel my inner Lamar Jackson. I'm going to see ain't nothing out there. I'm gonna, he going to miss me right there, and I'm going to take it. So now I'm gone. I'm going to juke one dude. thought I juked him, but I didn't. But, hey, we got some nice yardage out there. And me, as an individual... I am eating out there right now. And this play right here, I'm going to try to keep the ball again. And this honestly where I messed up at. I went for a juke when I should have slid. And look, he poked the ball right out. And now they got the ball back. And I'm going to say our defense came to play. But look, they defense came to play too. They said second half, we not letting nothing up this half. And with this play right here, I'm looking to hand it off to Braylon again. And... I don't know. They defense really not playing this half. We just lost two yards off that run. So we got to throw the ball just to convert and get the first down. And look at my boy coming across the middle. A lifesaver. My boy Chimray right there again for the nice catch. Nice first down. Now we moving the chains. So we got to score here. We don't got to, but I'm hoping to. So I'm going to pass fake right here. I see my boy. I was finna run in and take it, but I threw it to T. Johnson. And they caught a flag on the plate. And the flag was illegal touching from T. Johnson. And at this point, I think they're just trying to help LSU out because we dogging them boys like I said we were. And now look at this play right here. I'm hiking the ball. I do another pass fake. Trying to find somebody wild open. Look at this catch. It was an unbelievable catch. I thought I threw a bad accuracy pass, but he caught the ball. Now it's third and one. And I can't even lie. Like I said, they was cheating for them. I ain't going to lie. They had to get us one back. But look at this nice catch catch from Chimre. it was a defensive pass interference so we're gonna get the touchdown but oh my goodness that was so much of a good pass Tim Ray did not like the disrespect that they was throwing at his QB1 so now at this point we're just gonna run the ball and try to waste as much clock as possible and look we get another flag on the play and this time it's gonna be holding now we gotta back it up so we're going to try to run one more time before we have to pass the ball because obviously we don't get a lot of yardage right here we got to start looking to pass to get the first down. But I'm going to try to do one more run play to waste some more clock. And he didn't get nowhere. I, I didn't think the defense would think we were running right there. But I guess they played it well and they stopped us. So at this point, we have to throw the ball. So I'm going to chuck it downfield and see what I can make out of it. And nothing is made. It is 4th and 17. And now we got to punt the ball. I ain't gonna lie, they creeping back up 28 to 42, but I'm gonna hand the ball off to Brother and look at the nice blocking he gonna get. If he would have made the left decision instead of going right, he probably would have took that all the way for six. And B. Allen having a decent game, don't get me wrong. Look at this nice spin right here. He having a decent game. He could have more, but we still winning, so that's all that really matters at this point. But as far as the passing game, that's undefeated right now. And I'm going to hit my boy Chimray right here. And he almost gets the first down. It's third and inches. We're probably going to run the ball next. So I'm going to hand the ball off to B. Allen and see what he can do. He's going to take it when he should have went to the outside. I mean, his decision-making can be iffy sometimes, but we still got the first down. So we haven't did this play all season. I said, let's see if it'll work. Hand the ball off to Will Paulin. He getting some monster yards. 
Right, maybe we might add that to our back. He got eight yards off of that. We might start doing that more often. Well, now with this play, I'm going to try to put it in the air and see what I can make of it since I've been having so much of a good game. I tried to throw it into double coverage, and it went nowhere because they bat the ball down. Now it's third and two. Now this play right here is third and two. I know I should have ran it, but I said let's catch him off guard. And look at T. Johnson wide open leaving that boy. He's going to break one tackle. Almost broke another one and got another touchdown, but I'm sitting on five touchdowns right now. So y'all already know what I'm doing with this player here. I'm keeping it for myself, and I'm going to take him. I'm going to break off him with a nice spin for another touchdown. That's six total touchdowns right there. I might have been number two in the race, but I promise after this game, I better be number one. Now, peep the score. 49-35, they coming back. They said the second half... We got to show them that we ain't no slouch either. We got to come back. And that's exactly what they doing. Because it's 49 to 35. And I'm getting hit with a sack right here in second and 17. Them boys is not playing around this half. And do y'all see how he jumped over the defender to come and get me with the clean sack right there? Now, at this one, I'm just trying to get the ball upfield closer. I'm not trying to go for the first down just yet. I'm just trying to get closer. And that's exactly what I do because I catch my boy. Just so we can bring it up to third and six. So I try to sack him out right here with an RPO. And look what I just did. I threw a pick. My first pick of the game with a timeless throw. Shouldn't have threw that. I don't know what I was thinking. So now I got to stay calm. Because now they really catching up. It's 49 to 42. So I said, let me just take it right here. Get some nice yards. Keep the ball on the ground. Since I just threw a pick, I don't want to throw another one. So I don't want to throw no more picks. So I'm going to try to run as much clock as I can as possible. And look at this nice play that we pull out of the trick bag from T. Johnson. He's going to pick up the nice first down. And now I'm feeling a little bit comfortable. I might throw the ball now, but I still might run the ball here. And that boy B.A. Strong, he'll break a couple tackles. All he got to do is break them tackles and get some more yards off of them. So like I said, I'm still skeptical on throwing the ball here. So I'm going to throw right here. And oh my goodness, look at this pass right here. By the grace of God, it was not intercepted. I don't know how that pass got completed. It should have been intercepted, but nice catch. So I'm trying to milk the clock as much as possible. It's four minutes left in the game. And it's still 49 to 42. They could easily get a stop right here. But let's see how it's going to go. And I came in this game with a chip on my shoulder. This might have been the best game I've played all season. Five touchdowns and one interception. I am in God mode right now. Now, if we come away with this win right here, they better get on SportsCenter, on Twitter, on the blogs, on the media, like they was doing before, saying that I ain't going to beat nothing. They better get on there and say how much of a dog I am and how I dog walk LSU like I said I was in that live video. And when it looked like they have been hit us with a three and out, we come right back and go with a good play that's going to pick us up another first down. I got 444 passing yards tonight. And right when I thought I should have just took the sack, I throw another interception. I ain't really tripping though, but it's like it's two minutes left, so the defense got to come in the clutch right now because they can score a touchdown to win this game. And it looks like our defense came in in the clutch. Now it's eight seconds left. And we're just going to kneel the ball. And we're going to send it home. That's the game. So now I wonder what they got to say now that I came in their hometown and went for an absolute clinic. And after the game, I couldn't even find Jaden Daniels. He was nowhere to be found because he already knew he was talking about all that stuff. And I came right at the end and I shut his mouth. And if you want to check out the stats, here it is. I went 21 for 29, 444 yards, 72% completion, five touchdowns, two interceptions. He only had one touchdown this whole game. He had 401 yards, though, but honestly, I had the better game this night.